Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian International Mathematical Olympiad Team Selection Test 1994 problem number 2. We wish to show that <laughs> this number, crazy looking, n times n minus 1 to the power n minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 plus n, it's divisible by n minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 squared, for every odd positive integer n. Crazy looking, very nice problem. Uh, here is my, here are my hints for this problem. Crucial, crucial fact, the most crucial fact is noticing that if r is an odd positive integer, then we have the following factorization. a to the power of r plus one can be factorized as a plus one times sum going from k equals zero to r minus one, minus a to the power of k. Then you, so you should show that this exponent appearing in our problem, n minus one to the power of n plus one, can be written as q times n squared for some odd positive integer q. And then transform our problem, express our divisibility problem in terms of n and q. And finally, reduction modulo and q at some point may be helpful. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so here is my solution. First, let's take this exponent n minus 1 to the power of n plus 1. Well, I want to write it in the following way. First of all, using uh, the fact which I hinted at, since this exponent is odd, we can factorize this sum as sum going from, sorry, or as n minus 1 plus 1 sum going from k equals 0 to n minus 1 of what? Of minus n minus 1 to the power of k. Very well. So now it's n times this sum going from 0 to n minus 1 minus n minus 1 to the power of k. And I wish to show that the number, that this sum is divisible by n. How can I do it? Well, I will reduce it modulo n. Notice, so maybe, yes, reduction modulo n gives, gives us sum going from k equals 0 to n minus 1 minus n minus 1 to the power of k is congruent, well, n is congruent to 0 modulo n, which congruent to sum going from 0 to n minus 1, minus minus 1 to the power of k. And that, in turn, it's just 1. So we have just sum of 1's, how many 1's? n. And n is congruent to 0 modulo n. Which means, that implies that our exponent, which I written in blue, which I have written in blue, this exponent is n squared times q for some positive integer, positive odd integer. How do I know that? Well, here I have my n. I know that my entire sum is again divisible by n, so I have n squared times sum quotient. This quotient is obviously positive. How do I know that it is odd? Well, I know that it is odd because this number is odd. Because n is odd. n minus 1 is even. Even number to power n is even. Even number plus 1 odd. Very well. Very well. And now let me write my numbers which appear in the problem statement. In the problem statement we wish to show that this divides that. 
and let's express both quantities in terms of n and q. Well, the first number, it's n to the fourth power times q squared. And the second number, n can be factored out, and here I have n minus 1 to the power n squared times q plus 1. I wish to show that this divides that. Or in other words, we wish to show we wish to show that n cubed times q squared divides n minus 1 to the power n squared q plus 1. Because here we have n and here we have fourth power, so we can divide by n. How can I do it? Well, I will just consider uh, the following crucial, crucial observation that this sum can be written in the following way. It's n minus 1 to the power of n to the power n times q plus 1. Again, my exponent here is odd, so I can write this as n minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 times sum going from k equals 0, but this time to nq minus 1 of what? Of minus n minus 1 to the power of n, everything to the power of k. Very well. And now let's take a look. The number in the first parentheses, what is it? It's just n squared times q. A number inside my sigma can be written. I can do the following. I can write it as 1 minus 1 plus n minus 1 to the power of n to the power of k. Yes, it's right. And again, And again, this number right here, you know what, I will write it in, maybe in yellow. This number was n times n squared times q. Again, this number is n squared times q. Very well. And now I just want I want just to show that my sum is divisible by nq because I have already n squared times q outside. So maybe let's write it. We wish to show that n times q divides sum going from zero to nq minus one. 1 minus n squared q to the power of k. And to do that, I will just consider re another modular reduction, this time modulo nq, because this sum goes from 0 to nq minus 1. And we see that this number is congruent to 0, so we have just sum going from 0 to nq minus 1, 1 to the power of k, and that is, obviously, we have n times q terms in our sum, so it's congruent to n times q, and n times q is congruent to 0, modulo n times q, i.e., in other words, i.e., nq divides our sum. And to be honest, that closes our problem, because we have demonstrated that nq divides our sum. So n, 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 n cubed q squared divides this entire business. And that in turn means that n to the fourth power divides this thing. And that was equivalent to our problem statement.
and that closes our proof. QED. Very, very well. Beautiful problem. Uh, I enjoyed it very much, I think. One more challenge for you, because we have actively used the fact that n was odd number. You can think about, is this problem, is this statement also true in case of even positive integers? If yes, try to give a proof. If not, mm, give a counterexample. But to be honest, it's not very difficult. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.